Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to create a quiz using Microsoft Forms. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. First of all, sign into your office.com account and then select Forms or simply go to forms.microsoft.com and you will end up at the same place. So let's create a new quiz. Now we also have the option for a new form, but I'm gonna create a new quiz. Now let's just call this one fun trivia quiz number nine. And we'll say this is just for fun. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to ask a question of your name. Now, Microsoft Forms remembers that I previously asked this question on another form. Now, if that didn't happen for you, just go here and select the question type that you want to use. And I'm going to select text and I want to collect name. So your name. Now you may not need to do this depending upon your particular installation of Microsoft Forms in your school account, but I like to use it anyway, just to be sure that I always collect student names. Now we're not going to put any point value on this so that we're not grading it, but we are going to make it a required question. Now, I want to add a new question. I'm going to add my first multiple choice question. And we're going to just simply ask, who was the first person to walk on the moon? And we'll give some answer choices here. Add a couple other ones. Now, I'm going to select the correct answer here. And I'll give it a point value. Let's give it a 10 point value. And we're going to make it required. And we're also going to select shuffle options. That way, if all my students are taking the quiz at the same time, they'll see the answer choices in different orders depending on when they opened the form relative to their classmates. So not every student has the exact same sequence of answer choices. That's why I always make my first answer the correct answer because I know it's going to be shuffled as soon as I use that shuffle options. So let's add another question. And this time I'm going to show you how to use an image in a question. So let's start by again doing a multiple choice. And let's say, where in the world would you find this building? And now I'm going to upload an image. I'm gonna use this insert media button and I'm going to use an image I can do an image search. I can pull from my OneDrive if I have an image stored there that I want to use, or I can upload from my computer. And here I'm going to use a picture that I have in my folder here. And I'm going to insert that image. And while that's uploading, I'll put in my answer choices. And we'll see that Microsoft Forms is suggesting some answer choices for me. Let's add another one. And let's add that one. Now let's select the correct answer. We'll see that the point value has already been filled in for me of 10 points. It's just copied over from the previous question. You can change it. So if you wanted to give different point values and different questions, you could. I can make that worth five points instead of 10 points, but I'll leave it at 10. I'll make it a required question. And again, make sure I have shuffle options turned on so that every student sees these options in a different order. Now let's add another question. 
And this time we're going to use a text response question instead of a simple multiple choice question. So let's just put this question in here and say, who was the first person to walk on the moon? And again, I can add an answer in here of Armstrong, but I also want to make sure that my students get credit if they answer Neil Armstrong. So I'll put in both as being correct. We'll make that required. And now let's go on and add one more question. And this time we'll use text. And in this question, I'm going to ask, where do the Boston Red Sox play baseball? And I'm gonna make that one a long answer question. And a long answer question, we'll see, does not allow us to add in correct answers. That means that we will have to manually grade those questions ourselves. So we now have our five question fun trivia quiz, but the first question, of course, is not being graded. That's your name. And so our point value is 40 points. Before we give this out to our students, I want to point out that you can change the theme or the color scheme just by clicking on the theme button here. And we can take a look and see, oh, now I have that new theme, or I can just use a nice green or blue scale, or I can even go here and use a theme customizer and customize the colors and upload my own image for the background if I'd like to. But for me, I'm just gonna leave it as this nice little blue background theme. So now, Let's go ahead and share this with our students. Hit the share option. And in my case, by default, only people in my organization can respond. And that's fine if I'm giving this to my students who are in my class, they're going to have their own accounts that match my school domain. So they'll be in my organization and they can respond. But if you wanted to give this to people outside of your organization to take, you want to change that to anyone can respond. So now we have that link there. Let's hit copy on that. And you can see we can copy and paste that link and provide it to people. We have a QR code option. We have an embed code option if you want to put it into a website. Or you can even do the good old fashioned email it out to everyone. But in this case, I'm just going to copy that link. And now let's take a look and see how somebody responds to this quiz. So I'm gonna bring that up on another screen here. And here's that fun trivia quiz, and this is how somebody responds to it. And so let's say student responds with Bob, and we'll see already that this has shuffled the answer choices from the order in which I wrote them. and then submit it. And the student can view the results. See, so they got 30 out of 40. And the student got 30 out of 40 because this last question hasn't been graded yet. So as the instructor, as a teacher, I need to go to the responses here. And I can see the responses. It's kind of a summary, but I wanna review the answers. So I'm gonna review the answers for my first respondent. I'm going to say it needs review. So this one here needs review. And now I'm going to give it 10 points. And now that's updated. And I go back to the previous screen. We'll see here it's now 40 out of 40. I can see the student took 37 seconds to respond to it. I'm going to go back here. Now we see the updated. And I can post the scores. 
for respondent zero to have the score sheet. Now, hit the preview button, and here's what the respondent will see. Now, you can also take a look at this and see how people, students would see it on their mobile phones, which is also pretty darn handy. So there's our first Microsoft Forms quiz. Now we can add more to this. And in my next video, I'll show you some more things that you can do with Microsoft Forms when you're making a quiz. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out Practical Ed Tech.